everybody, I'm Dr. Karen Mikowski, aka Butterfly Karen, and also the leading investigator on any of my cases, parapsychology and paranormal investigations. Welcome. So, welcome to the energy tour, another part of the energy tour. I'm a little bit bunged up from, um, from after I got back from the UK, which is kind of where I, I did, I performed the um, paranormal investigation in the UK. I mean, obviously, it was kind of, crap for the other reason as to why i went was because of my father's funeral but i was staying at this hotel and um it was interesting so first things first i was staying at the king's kingstown hotel in Hedden and in, in you know in kingston upon hull and you you know united kingdom it's a really it's an amazing hotel um i had a great stay there and it was just it, it but it felt I mean, because of what I do and who I am, I mean, obviously, I'm, I know the history of Hedden and it's incredibly old. So there's a lot of sort of like medieval energy that's sort of in that area. Um, now, once I sort of checked in and everything, it was, and I do highly recommend this hotel if you're going to stay in Hull and you want a little bit of peace and quiet. So you're very close to the city, but you also get that real um quiet time too it's, it's really nice and it's got a great restaurant breakfast oh breakfasts are like breakfasts are great so just do it <laughs> so if you like a good english breakfast there you go now it was great because i actually did like reunions with my family there and everything so it was great it was it was like the perfect place to be convenience and everything so like i said once i got checked in it was awesome i was like really you know re really relaxed and everything but I immediately kind of got the feeling I was sort of dealing with um, transient energies. And again, because of the area, I thought, well, I don't feel like it was the hotel that is sort of, you know, it's not really, it's not, places aren't really haunted anyway, only my, my sort of professional opinion, but it's people can be sort of, and I don't like the word haunted, but, you know, we it's all sort of, that's, that's how we sort of understand, you know, paranormal investigations anyway, but it's energy obviously and it just felt like there was a lot of sort of transient energy but because the building was it's the land the land is old and it's it's, it's where the um the hotel was built so inevitably there's going to be a lot of tra that's why i felt like there's a lot of transient energy and i was quite aware of that quite quickly so i was like oh god this is because it's going to be an interesting stay now obviously i didn't mention anything at the beginning of my stay you know to stuff or anything because I don't kind of want to freak them out and I don't want them feeling like, oh God, you know, here we go. <laughs> but obviously I don't care about being seen as a weed or anything like that because I am, and I don't care. But it was great because um, I sort of took that opportunity. I thought, well, I'm here, I'm here in the UK. What, what better time and place to sort of add to the energy tour? So it was fantastic. And I can, I'm really happy that I could put sort of um, Kingstown Hotel on the map too on my energy tour map so that's great um and obviously i'm going back in i'm going back around summertime or i'm not i mean i don't know exactly when but i will be staying there again and i want those areas that there's different parts of the areas that i want to sort of take a closer look at so i didn't really have time but it was great so now again transient energy that's constant walkthroughs like you your house your home where you live that you can have transient energy just passing through all the time. And it's just when it sort of lingers for a little while that you might feel like, oh, it feels a bit spooky, like that. But it's not necessarily your home is like inhabited or haunted, or however you want to, whatever, however you, you know, you define um, or feel like you want to, like, oh my God. It, I just go uh, in, inhabited, but um, it was, so that that tends to happen a lot or you yourself can have a lot of energy attached to you so usually like a lot of you know a lot of people when they say oh my god I, my house was haunted and we moved but it's like it followed us it didn't it didn't follow you from your home it followed you because it was attached to you people's so that's usually why it's hard to say to get rid of energy so you've got to kind of got to cleanse yourself you've got to and you've got to figure out who and what it is and why it's attached to you and stuff like that many many reasons so um so i don't really feel like places are haunted per se i mean there will be residual energy there but 
you know, sometimes buildings get knocked down and, you know, the energy will remain. I don't know if, it's, if that's where it was or it will just sort of transient onwards. It will just sort of move. But it's just the, it's the dimensions that it's on and stuff. So, and it's weird as well because even though, um, like, they don't know the... They don't know the transient and the, the moving through a hotel. They don't sort of see it the way we see the hotel or they don't see this, the place the way we see it. They're just in sort of like a, when you think about the dimension, again, it can be sort of like depending on what sort of dimension the energy is on, it can be on like sort of 1D, 2D or 4D. But again, they meant, tend to be more sort of like dark spaces. So they don't know they're intruding in your room, they, you know, unless they know, unless they trick their energies and they, they sort of um, stick around to watch. That's a little bit different, but that's it. I don't know. It feels like that takes a bit of time too. I, I sort of discussed my stance on um, paranormal sort of science and my what I feel about energy. It's just, um, you know, like there's times when I'm in the shower in a place and it's like, oh, hello, I do not feel like I'm alone. Hello there. Do they know they're staring at me in the shower? Well, it's hard to say, but it's more that they can, they're, they're feeling your frequency. So they're just sort of coming to your energy. Unless it's a loved one that's trying to sort of connect to you, but so many ways and reasons as to why or, or what it can, you know, perceive. I mean, it's very hard to explain anyway. It's very obviously hard to prove. But um, this particular scenario, I didn't feel like there was one energy that knew exactly where it was. Uh, or more so, that's where it, that energy sort of passed away but because it was on the land and not in the hotel unless of course there is something did happen in that particular room which I'd have to do more research on but it felt more like well because I was seeing a tree so that's why I feel like the energy passed away on the land before the hotel was built so um and it was kind of old energy anyway now for the first foot, sort of trying to get settled the first few nights, I was like, I was not really getting much sleep. And I'm like, oh, really? You know, again, energy doesn't know times. They don't know it's like one, two, three, four in the morning or anything like that because time's irrelevant. It's, 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 a, it's a man made and linear, but on those down, dimensions, they don't know what time it is. It's just, it, they're just sort of, for us, we're like fast asleep and stuff. But it felt like there was a lot more activity early hours. And I was always like, oh, God, here we go again. You know? <laughs> I need a good night's sleep, one of those. So, but it sort of tells me that I feel like maybe other guests have sort of encountered, um, been woken up or experiencing something at certain times of the day, in, like in the evenings and things like that, or early hours in the morning. Now, once I connected, to, like I said, I was connected to multiple energies and I feel like most of them were just sort of transient anyway. Um, and again, like I say, Hedden is incredibly old. There's like, you know, medieval energies. Is old. It's really old. Um, I felt like there was like 19th century sailors as well, like the... One energy I connected to was a sailor, but I feel like that was like the early 19th century. So, um, and you've you got to remember, like, right there is the whole docks. So, old docks, too. Um, and it was once a main fishing port in England, anyway. So, back in the day, but, um, so yeah, over a period of days, I was, when I was there, I was constantly being aware of like energy sort of passing through. I'm like, oh, God, you know, hello there. <laughs> So I can sort of hear them and obviously because I'm always tapped in and you know but my clear audience I mean once I say you know once I'm so aware that there's energies around me I just sort of you know, tap in and do what I do and then the clear audience messages I was hearing throughout the first few days was things like carousel um the horses shudder <laughs> um you need to look after yourself followed by another energy replying i can't so that was kind of interesting to hear like a conversation going on between two energies um then i heard the wanderer returns and i and that was really loud as well i heard it really clearly like oh the wanderer returns and like so i actually naturally asked telepathically um why and i heard to do it again now 
this was weird because once I was feeling like connecting to that energy, it started to feel a bit dark and sinister. Um, and then it just sort of like moved on. I'm like, okay, I'm kind of glad I didn't stay attached to that energy. So I, don't, I feel like um, if I was to go with the my first intuitive feeling towards that dark energy that was sort of passing through, I feel like something he was a very bad, you know, this wanderer was an incredibly bad character at a time in history where he probably like murdered a few people or you know, maybe, but I felt like the energy of that person was really dark and sinister about it. Like, and it was almost like, oh, the wanderer returns to do it again. Like, probably comes in, in and out, in and out. Like again, transient energy that sort of happens all the time. But the come, you know, maybe there was some sort of serial killer or somebody that mur murdered some people back then in that area. But it was always. A, particular time when a certain person came back into town, that sort of thing. Um, I'd love, I mean, obviously, I'm going to sort of do my research onto it, of course. Anything like this, I always, you know, start doing the research and hitting the archives anyway. But so I was kind of glad that that energy tr totted right off. <laughs> it continued because I did not want to stay attached to that. It was too dark. And then I heard, I closed the door, but they got me. So I don't know. I mean, like I said, these are these are like male energies I was hearing. Um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what that was about, but it was like I closed the door, but they got me. <laughs> okay. Now, the following vi video, vi like the following visuals I was seeing, like they can sort of come in video visuals and photographic pictures, videos, um, visuals. Sorry. So the first sort of video visual I was seeing when there was energy around was I saw people jumping into the water and I'm like, oh God. So that made me feel like at a point in time, maybe a lot of people, I'm not quite sure why the, it could have been on the river hull, um, but I feel like I was seeing people jumping either off the embankment or off a boat. So I really want to do some research because I felt like there was multiple people that jumped into the water and that's not really the water you want to be jumping in, put it that way. So that was obviously the end of their life, you know, their sort of lifeline. Um, you know, that's kind of how they passed away, but it was sort of weird to see it like, oh, good, why are you jumping? Oh, no, it's not, not, not this river. <laughs> um, now, now, the next visual was a photographic visual, and I saw a really large room, and it was just sort of filled with people, like it was just like a picture of watching people playing bingo, and I was like, okay random but okay so i'm intrigued by that but every i don't really ignore anything i don't care how weird it looks or anything now the the next okay the next video visual i was seeing a man walking um and then i heard the man he was walking and he was whistling and singing and then i heard him singing i go a walking by the moonlight after midnight and i'm not even sure those lyrics are correct but that's what i was hearing i'm like Okay, so <laughs> write that down, obviously. Now, so now, on the March the 10th, 2024, at, at exactly 1.37 a.m. Now, timing's important. Time could be exactly when that person, that energy passed away. Or, I mean, I put a few little... Um, well, anyway, the next energy interaction was of the sailor, of a sailor who woke me up on the 10th of March, 2024, or exactly 1.37 a.m. Now, and again, like I said, times are important because it could be the specific time of the energy is time of death or when he likes to wake people up because this energy, liked to, he likes to wake people up. <laughs> now, again, it kind of scared the shit out of me a little bit because I felt like, I was woken up, obviously, at this time, and my, I immediately went straight, like, where my bed was, right on the wall in front was, like, the mirror, and I'm like, and then all of a sudden, I was just sort of drawn, and I saw, the, like, this energy, it was a sailor, and, and I saw the uh, sailor's outfit, and I'm like, oh, what? You know, really? Oh, God, you scared, you scared me. <laughs> and he was sort of stood, like, literally in front of the mirror at the foot of my bed, and like I said, I could see his uniform, and then, you know, obviously, like when I realized, oh, here we go, right? 
And so I immediately I thought, what do you want? Do you need help? What do you need? You know, that kind of thing. And I, he was saying, I heard him say a few sentences where you scare the demons. Like to me, I'm like, okay, I don't care about that. <laughs> I know. But he said, you scare the demons. We whistle and blow and you won't sleep. I'm like, we'll see about that. But he was right. <laughs> so, now, then I heard in the distance a child crying. So I thought, okay, that was weird. And then, in, and then I was distracted by the need to stare up above my bed. And then as I was looking at the ceiling, I felt like I was looking at um, an energy that hung themselves because then I was seeing the visual of a tree. I'm like, okay. And obviously the way it looked like this particular energy hung himself up from a tree. And then I, so obviously I, I looked straight back towards the sailor and he disappeared. So I felt like at 1.37 a.m., I don't know what date, was when he, this sailor either hung himself, when that was a forest before the, um, the hotel was built. So I feel like that was a forest area anyway. And there's a specific tree. I really want to look at the, um, really want to look deep into the history of this because I feel like he may have been on leave. I don't know what maybe caused him to, but I don't feel like he went back to the ship. Right? And I feel like he just hung himself there. But because it was situated where the hotel is now, which is why he's sort of still there, like he doesn't, he's kind of connected to that particular area. So, and like I said, once he, I look back, he'd gone. Um, and I do, I just feel like it's some, that's, I feel like that's exactly when he, that time. Now, it's either the time of when he hung himself and died, or he likes to wake guests up at 1.30 to 7 a.m. every morning. And again, like usually if that's when he, he died, um, it could be like a repeat of his death. That's kind of what happens too, but it's hard to explain. But that's when he would be very, maybe that's when he becomes active. And I do feel like he becomes active. It's, you know, I feel like it's a bit of a trickster energy as well. So, um, let me see what else. I do, I feel like it's a right, isn't it? I felt like it was incredibly annoying. Like he, he's an annoying trickster energy and he would annoy me. I like if, if I had to deal with that energy every night, I'd be like, oh no, no, you go in, you get in transition whether you like it or not. <laughs> Cause I would not be dealing with being woke up at one thirty seven every single morning. So I'm intrigued to know if a lot of guests or maybe some guests have experienced waking up at that exact time of the morning and feeling that like they've got somebody in the room or something's in like that, like an experiencing something like, oh, oh, spooky, one of those. So let me have a look at the summary. So during the interactions from the state, I had to admit I had already felt, I had a few, like I say, it's my summary. I felt like I'd had a few restless nights sleep with constant energy interruptions during the night, and more so um, early hours of the morning. I don't know why, but earlier I was at the morning, I felt like that hotel comes alive. It is the weirdest thing. It doesn't, but it feels energetically on the, on the spirit realm. It comes alive. So again, and I feel like that's when there's a lot more energy just being trapped, like, and they're old energy. So old energy can be physically interactive too, and it's noisy as well. So it's like, oh, wanna, yeah. That's what, I love old energy, but it can be really like, hmm. I don't like it when they get physical, when they can physically actually touch you when they're aged, because you've got to be careful. You've got to, you know, keep your boundaries up and you just tell them to put yourself basically. So the, there is a sort of like boundary line, you know, they know, but some like to cross it and, and freak people out. Um, so I do not feel like the, ho the hotel is haunted. I just feel like it's just, uh, it's just been located, it's located on, an, on a land, old land where there's a lot of transient energy. Because it just sort of flows through, it just feels like the place is like, oh, spooky hurt. <laughs> so, um, now I do not feel for a second the sailor is negative. Again, I just feel like he was more of an annoying little trickster energy, but I do, I just felt, yeah, I feel like that's kind of, he causes a lot of bump in the night for some, for people. Now, I did speak to a few members of the staff, you know, actually I was talking to the receptionist and I actually said, 
you know, because I was, you know, getting ready to check out and I just asked, like, um, did anybody, anybody complain, uh, say anything about how the, you know, the hotel is? And, you know, obviously she's going to be like, you know, she was a little bit, oh, you know, yeah, one of those. But I explained who I was and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we have a few people that discuss, you know, like, do you have experience something? And I was like, you know, just explaining, I'm not even surprised by that. So, um, I, I just, and I, like I say, I was speaking to a few of the staff and they were sort of verifying, they do, they have had their own encounters or they know people that have encountered stuff and s similar sort of situations and even like guests telling them and I'm like, I'm not remotely surprised, but again, the, you know, they, and they were explaining these areas of the hotel where it's more prevalent with activity and like, okay, well, that's obviously where next time I'm there, I'll have more time and I'll be focused, I'll be getting more data from those areas. So... Um, yeah, it was, it, you know, it's kind of weird as well, because like I felt, well, sometimes when I'm, if I'm dealing with the transient energy, normally, because I'm a bit of a light anchor anyway, they'd normally just, if they wanted to transition, they would just transition. They'd just be like, oh God, what is that ball of light? Okay. <laughs> On the ether. And they would just nat naturally trans, um, um, trans, got the word they would just naturally transition to 50 but it just didn't feel like they wanted to it was the weirdest thing so um or maybe they're just still confused that that happens a lot in the ether too so mm. yeah it was um it was it was interesting but that's you know i don't really get spooked out at all really by energy Obviously, California, and now with a similar situation in California, I was woken up by energy, but physically as well, so that was weird. But this kind of felt, you know, that kind of freaked me freaked me out, only because I thought I had an intruder, uh, and it was, like, young energy, so that was even weird. So how he passed away was horrific. Like, I don't know what, but there's something going on in that area of California anyway, so there's a lot of buildup of energy. So it might not be him that's, um, it's just, mm, anyway, you can watch the California um energy to the tar the energy tar you just watch Calavani video it's really weird but this one was age energy but it, it didn't feel like it was physically waking me up it was just his presence was so um strong old I'm like and I immediately like woke up and I'm like and then I looked I went oh good god oh god <laughs> scared the shit out of me one of those and right there in front I'm like dude that's not to not freak me out because normally and again i had to tap into the feeling because if it's really dark and nasty i'm, I'm getting rid of it i'm going to annihilate it with light force and everything i don't care because i don't like that um but again because i was sort of just sort of tapped in i'm like mm, what do you want <laughs> what do you need do you need anything <laughs> right? but yeah i just had a few things to say and i feel like it just enjoys i do i feel like he enjoys waking people up cheeky so, um, yeah, I didn't think, mm, I don't really, you the one that's keeping me awake, <laughs> keeping waking me up every morning. And so, yeah, so that was, um, that was case CCMP 62, um, 62. Like I said, that was Kingstown Hotel, Hedden, United Kingdom. And that is obviously added to the energy tar. Now, obviously, if I go back there, I'm going to add another part two. Um, so this may just become part one, but I'll be doing another like, part two, obviously, because I still feel like there's a lot more to sort of get. I like the, I like the data because then I can start researching icons and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, my my city as well, where I'm from, in Kingston upon Hull, it's really you know it's got some really old old energy. So um, it's an interest it's an interesting place. Um, but yeah, so if you do find yourself in the Kingston upon Hull in the United Kingdom and you need somewhere to stay, I highly recommend if you're if you're staying in a hull or you need to be close to the city as possible, um, but you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle of it because those roads it's crazy for uh, traffic right now. <laughs> so I would say find just you know just go to stay at the Kingstown Hotel. It's it's pretty much up the road to the city, to the main city centre anyway. So. But it's got everything you need. It's got restaurants, bars, everything. So it's got kids, 
play a ground and everything as well. It's good for families too. Um, you've pretty much got everything you need. Um, but yes, and if you need anything specific, like any any information, just sort of speak to Sarah on the reception, and you're good to go. So, other than that, people, um, see where I go next on the energy tour, and I'll see you all again very soon. <laughs>